being finished. Amen. Amen. And it's almost finished, y'all. Amen. Amen. Today, we're marking going back in time. When Jesus stretched his hands on that tree for us. All right. We're going back in time, and we're going to go and look at the word it is finished, which is found in John, the book of John, the 19th chapter, and the 30th verse. Mm -hmm. It's simple. One of the things that we know is that there's nothing in Scripture, not one tittle, that is there with enough a new point. Everything is written for a purpose and it has a deeper meaning. And the Bible says that the Lord, He speaks in, in mysteries, but He reveals the secret mysteries to His people. So when we see small things like you all heard all of these people saying, I thirst. The words that the Lord said before, the, before His Father. When we go back and hear all of those things, we say, what was the significance of these small, short sentences and these small outbursts? God had a meaning behind all of it. Now I tell you, it says, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Yes, hallelujah. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. But I tell you, the English language has a way of messing up mm -hmm. things. Yes. So we need to go back to the Greek text. And when we go back to the Greek text, we find out that there's another word. But before we go there, I want to go back to the book of Isaiah. Because we have to have a little bit of history to find out what it is that the Lord is saying to us. We must dig into the scriptures, right? Right. And I said for myself, I said I'd rather use the word itself and to use my interpretation of the word Amen. to expound the word. So we're going to read really fast. I'm trying to keep up. It's in chapter 53. Amen. Isaiah chapter 53, the third verse. Right. 53 in the third verse. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And he hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and he and we esteemed him not. Surely he had he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him, stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Over two thousand years. Oh, the Lord said that we are healed. All are like sheep have gone astray and have turned everyone of his own way. Mm. And the Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. Yes. He was oppressed. He was afflicted. And he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before his shearers is dumb. So he opened it, not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his, this gener his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. And he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Because he had done no violence. Neither was any deceit found in him. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. And he had put him in, to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul, and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify many, for shall, for he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great, and he shall divide his spoil with the strong, because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressor, transgressors. Now what is that saying when he said, it's finished? The book of Isaiah was written before we go all the way back over to the New Testament, because Jesus had already finished it, even before. 
work was finished. Because when he spoke his word, it was already being done. It was already done. That's the power of our God. That's just how powerful he was. When he said that we were healed all the way back there, we were already healed. All that has to happen is we have to receive it. When Jesus said on the cross it was finished, not only is he saying that it, the prophecies of the old book is finished, but everything he set forth to do, everything he said, everything he put into motion, it was already finished. Do you remember the preacher the other night, the other preacher began to say, he said that it's, it's a fixed game before you even get started. You already won before it got even started. You just didn't know. But I want to tell you about one word to go with tonight. In the English translation, it says it is finished. But the real word says tetlistah. Tetlistah means in Greek, not just it's finished. It means that it was fulfilled. And it's still being fulfilled. Jesus didn't say, I'm finished. He said, it's finished. Because if he had said, I'm finished, then that would mean that he was done with what he had to do. But because the Greek word means previous, present, and future, <coughs> it's a perfect word. It's an ongoing word. When we say technical stop, meaning that this is the beginning of the rest of it. Yeah. Everything yeah. Jesus promised in our lives, every word that was already fulfilled, it didn't just get stopped there. All right. It continues on and on and on and on. Amen. Everything God says is eternal. Amen. Remember, he didn't say, I'm finished. He said, it's finished. The work is finished. The promises are finished. Everything that my Father God sent me to do has been fulfilled. I don't have to get up and do it anymore. Like rich people, they say when you're really rich, your money works for you. Well, with Jesus, his word continues to work. He doesn't need to say anything else. Somebody say, I have a new word. No. It's fulfillment of this word. Amen. Because his word was from the beginning. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So when he spoke the word, it started, then, always will be, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. So Jesus said, it is finished, and I like it better when the Greek word said, it always will be. 